Hello there, this is Nopname. Welcome back to another video about my virtual computer in vanilla Minecraft. Um, yeah, it's the MC64. And as you can see, I'm in Minecraft 1.14 pre-release to vanilla. <coughs> if you want to try it out for yourself, um, just click on the download, lo download link in the description. And yeah, make sure to use this Minecraft version. And then just click on open editor and you can write your own program. Um, and today I want to show you my uh, Brisenham algorithm for line drawing. Um, so far I have no uh, screen for the MC64 so I'm just calculating the, um, the X and Y coordinates and um, printing them. Uh, in chat so I can yeah I can see that it calculated the correct numbers I'm planning to add a uh, screen but this will take some time so um, also if you have downloaded um, the first version of this computer version 0 uh, dot 0.1 um, I recommend you to update it um, the link in the description will lead you to the MC64 version 0 0.1.1 .1, which is a small update. It basically fixes one bug and that bug made while statements pretty much useless. It yeah broke programs and so on. Alright, so I made this uh, grid. Um, this is a screen you could say and these are the pixels. And this is pixel 1, 1, and this is pixel um, 13 and 3. And in this program, oops, let's see. Here you input uh, the pixel values. So pixel 0 is at 1, 1, and pixel 1 is at 13 and 3. And then it will call the line drawing algorithm which doesn't actually draw anything it just outputs the number and it will give me the values in between the values I just uh, print these long numbers so I can yeah see the individual coordinates better so the first pixel is at 1 1 that's correct the second one is at 2 and 1 so let's get uh, this 2 and 1, the first coordinate is x, 3 and 1 and 4 and 1. Then it goes to 5, 2, 6, 2, 7, 2, 8, 2, 9, two, oops, 8, 2, 9, 2, 10, 2, and 11, 3, 12, 3, and 13, 3. And now we have a line. Um, so let's take a different coordinate. We will start at, um, this time we will start at uh, 3 and 5 and go to, what is this, 8 and 14. Um, so let's change it here. Uh, I still have no user input. I'm planning to add that um, in a while, but first of all I want to add string manipulation. So x0 equals value um, 3. y0 equals and uh, one, two, three, four, five. X one equals um, eight. So that big uh, black line here is ten and twenty and so on. And Y one equals. Um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now let's run the program again. And we start at 3 and 5, that's correct. 
when we go to four and six four and six and then four and seven five and eight five and nine six and ten six eleven seven twelve 7, 13, 8, 14. And we have drawn another line. So, yeah, as you can see, it works. Um, let's see if I switch around uh, these values. I haven't tested that yet. So, x equals 0, uh, x 0 <laughs> equals um, 8. Yes. Um, y0 equals 14, x1 equals, um, that was 3 I guess, and y1 is 5. Hopefully that works. As I said, I haven't tested that yet. Yes, it does. So it works in any direction, you could say. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, it uses the same version of a computer uh, you can download now. And yeah, the only difference to the very first version is that I fixed a bug. And yeah, here you can see this is the algorithm. Um, I got it from Wikipedia. Um, actually from the German version of that Wikipedia page um, yeah I will just put a link in the description the code is in English so it doesn't really matter and I also have a screenshot here it's um, programmed in C and I just tra translated it into um, MC basic how I call this language here for the MC64 um, the biggest problem was this um, thing here um, the break command uh, there is no break so I had to change the um, the condition of a while loop and that's a bit complicated because I cannot input um, complex um, comparison stuff and so on so I had to calculate on a temporary variable here and then compare that number to a zero and at the end of the loop I had to do that again so at the end of every loop it has to check it has to ca calculate the stuff and check um, if that equals zero and so on but the rest is pretty much the same as in the code you can see on the screen and if you click on the link and so on and as you can see it's also quite fast I don't know what happens if you enter a really big number. So let's try that. Um, x0 equals 80. And y0 equals 140. Let's run it again, and yeah, you can see it's still quite fast. Even though it calculated so many values, um, they don't all fit in the chat. And yeah, I think it still takes less than a second. Or maybe a second? I don't know. But yeah, it should be more than 100 coordinates. Alright, um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.